One of the more recent characters to be introduced within the fairy tale manga is none other than Larcade Dragneel, and to be honest, his character in a way for me has been a letdown. Like, it's not that his character is bad, if anything, it's really the opposite of bad, and he's a really cool character, but it's more or less the fact that we need, need, need more development for him, and he's constantly missing within the series. If you guys can recall, during the spring reunion of chapter 494 of Fairy Tale, he's even brought up the fact that Larcade is constantly missing for the meetings. Like, this guy is just constantly in and then out of the story. We even see August just pissed off at Larcade, and you could honestly go on to argue that he doesn't like Larcade. And to say the very least, that's quite scary. I mean, like, August is the king of all magic, and although we don't know Larcade's power level, you don't fuck with August. <laughs> Bottom line, though, why is Larcade constantly missing? Like, where is he? Why is he in one chapter than out the other? Now, I do actually have a really interesting theory in regards to why Larcade could be missing so much within Fairy Tale, and today I'm going to be sharing it with you guys. Now, to start, Larcade is a Dragneel, so with this, he's obviously attached to the main male character Natsu somehow. Now, although we don't know exactly how he is related to Natsu, it is still doubtful that Hero would introduce a character like this, especially if this character would, were to be a Dragneel, only to put them on the back burner for this long. There has to be some behind the scenes work going on that we don't know about as of yet. How I see it, there are two possibilities as to why Hero could be putting Larkay on the back burner so much. Now, the first one could be that he's actually saving Larkay to be a future villain of a future arc. And I don't know what type of arc that would be. I've seen many people allude to the possibility of Larkade actually being God Angstrom. And to be completely honest, although some of the theories have a lot of evidence and almost convinced me, there's still that little bit where I'm just questioning it. Like, I don't know how likely that would be, seeing as Zeref is obviously working in coherence with Larkade. And if Larkade cursed Zeref and was God Angstrom, there would definitely be some tension there. Now, the second possibility is that Larkade is in the background pulling some strings. Now, it would be in a way like how Ultir was pulling the strings within the Tower of Heaven arc with Jalal, and acting as if the darkness consuming him was Zeref, when in reality it was just her, and it was allowing her to manipulate him into her favor. But in this instance, I could actually see Larkade possibly working or even leading a third party within this war. Now, from here, this would turn into a complete clusterfuck, though. Like, it's already insane as it is with Alvarez and Fairy Tale, those two sides, but if you incorporate a third party in this were led by Larcade even, it would just be absolutely insane. Nevertheless though, voice your opinions in the comment section below. What do you guys believe the hero is doing behind the scenes with Larcade's character? Go ahead and leave a like to show your support on this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace.